In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a simple filterable list using JavaScript. So you might have a list of information that you're displaying to the user and you want to filter it based on some input that they type in. So we've got on the page a simple input box set up with an ID of filter and then the list that you can see is directly underneath it and that has an ID of list. So we're going to look at a couple of techniques to get this information from the document object model using JavaScript and then we'll put it all together so that when the user types into the input box it filters the items in the list based on what they've typed. So the first thing we'll look at doing is getting the list of items and we can access the children property on the list element. And you can see that gives us what looks like an array but it isn't quite an array so if we were try to use a filter function on there for example we'll get an error in our console saying that filter isn't a function because it's not actually technically an array. You might have noticed it's actually a HTML collection. So we need to convert that collection into an array and there are a few different ways that you can do that, but I'll use the array from function and then just pass in that collection. So now that we have an array, we can actually call different functions on there and the function I'm going to use is the map function, which will allow us to loop through each of the items in the array and then change any of its properties. So the second part is to work out if whatever the user's typed in actually matches something in the list item. So I'm going to do that by setting up a regular expression. And I'm using the regular expression constructor to create a new regular expression object. And the text I'm looking for in the string is simply the letter E. And I've passed in the modifiers of global and insensitive so that it checks the whole string and it doesn't worry whether the character is upper or lower case. And then finally calling the test function actually passes the inner text of the list item to the regular expression which will then return a true or false value depending on whether it finds the letter E in the string. So with our match found variable set up it's simply a matter of checking whether that's true or false and then modifying the list item in some way. And I've just set up a class within this document called hidden which will allow us to hide or show the list item. So with that hidden class being toggled, depending on whether the letter E is found in the string, if we now run that bit of code, you'll see our list updates to include only eggs, sausages and tomatoes, because those are the only strings that actually have the letter E inside it. And you'll notice that even though the E in the eggs is uppercase, the regular expression still matches it. So that's the bit of code that you need to use to actually filter the list. Let's actually hook it up to an event listener so that when the user types into the input box, it changes that list. And this time, instead of using the literal value of E in the regular expression, I'm going to take out the filter.value, which will be the text that the user has typed into the input box. So let's give that a go now. So typing SA gives us just sausages. The letter S matches most of the items in the list. And then finally, providing a blank string takes us back to the original list that we had. So there you have a quick way of setting up a filterable list in JavaScript. Of course it doesn't have to necessarily be an unordered list tag that you're filtering on. The children property should work on most HTML elements. So for example if you had a group of spans, divs or paragraph tags, you could just replace the list variable with a selector for that particular element that holds those children.